Hey guys, Jason here with a one-stop how-to guys bringing you episode 5 of Advanced Drupal Development. In this episode, we are going to set up and get shipping working for our commerce store. So in order to do this, there are two modules that you need to grab, the first of which is Drupal Commerce Shipping. Now this module will provide the framework that we need to uh, get shipping up and running on our website. And then the other module that you're going to want to grab is Commerce Flat Rate. Now this will plug into the shipping module and provide us with an option to do flat rate shipping. Now this isn't going to be uh, like tying into FedEx or UPS or anything like that. It's just going to be a flat rate charge. Um, so all items purchased and we'll set it up to say like $5 shipping charge will be charged. Um, and so that is what we're going to do. So make sure you go out and grab Commerce Shipping and also Commerce Flat Rate. Uh, once you've done that, extract it into your Sites All Modules folder. Head over to your site. Let's scroll down here to the Commerce Modules. And we will turn on Flat Rate, Shipping, and Shipping UI. We'll leave the Shipping Method example turned off. For now we don't really need it and we'll save that uh, let Drupal do its thing okay so once that is done what we have now as an option within our store configurations is shipping so let's open up that shipping tab and you can see here that essentially what shipping is, is a, a tie-in to the rules module. If we click the calculate rules here, uh, what it does is when you create a shipping method, it ties into the rules module and calculates the shipping. Uh, there are other options like shipping by weight, um, FedEx, U UPS, those kind of things, and they all tie into the rules module and they calculate the shipping based on that. Uh, but one of the things if we click the shipping services here that flat rate has done for us is we can now add a flat rate service. So we're going to click on that and we have to name our flat rate service and what we're going to do here is we are going to call this standard shipping and we will also make the display title the same as standard shipping optionally you can enter in a description if you want to let yourself know uh, what this shipping is for and we will say this is a base rate of five dollars so we're going to save our flat rate shipping here and we're going to close this down. And we are going to come up to our content and we're going to go to our Drupal t shirt that we added last time. And we're just going to add that to the cart. Now, when we navigate to our cart and we go to check out here, we have to fill out all of our information here. You can see that we have a shipping information tab here now, as well as our billing information. Now, one of the things that you know happens on a lot of other sites is that you're able to say, click a button and it says, you know, my shipping information is the same as my billing information, and that way you don't have to fill this out twice. Well, thankfully, Drupal has provided us with a method of doing that. And let, let's set that up now so that, that we can take care of that. If we go to Store, Configuration, Checkout Settings, I just want to adjust this so that the billing information is first and then the shipping information, because the shipping information is the one that we want to click on and say it's the same as my billing. So if we come in here to Configure on our shipping information, and scroll all the way down and click Enable Profiling Copying on this checkout pane. And we want to copy the profile from our billing information. So if we save that, close this down, when Drupal refreshes, you can see here that we have the shipping information section, but we have this checkbox now that says my shipping information is the same as my billing information. If we uncheck that, we get the option to enter in an alternate shipping address if you're maybe having this shipped to a friend as a gift. Um, but we can now click this button 
and it will just copy whatever we enter into our billing information as our shipping information. So we're going to just put this in here again as John Doe 555 The Street, Canton, Ohio 44708. And we're going to continue on to the next step. And now you can see that we have our standard shipping option available to us. It's the only option that we created. Um, and if we continue on to the next step, on our summary page here, you can see that the shipping module has added the shipping cost to our subtotal and now has increased our actual total to $54.98 as opposed to $49.98. Now, one of the cool things that we can do is we can come back in here to the store and go to shipping and add a secondary flat rate service. And let's just call this overnight shipping. And we're going to enter in that as our display title as well. And let's say that overnight shipping is $15. That's, that's a little more money to get it there a little quicker. If we go back, you can see that we now have the option to choose our overnight shipping or to choose our standard shipping. And if we choose the overnight, you can see that that adds $15 instead of $5, making our subtotal, our actual total, $64.98. So all you have to do is enter in the flat rate services that you want to be made available from your shipping settings, and that is going to make those available on the shipping tab and your users will be able to choose whichever they want and when they continue to the next step it's going to apply that to the cart and increase their total based on the shipping method that they've chosen. Now you can see here even though we did the profile copying that the shipping information did in fact copy the way that we wanted it to and that takes care of that and we can continue to the next step and finish off. Now, I know this tutorial was really short, but that's really all it takes to get flat rate shipping installed and working on your Drupal site. So that's going to do it for this tutorial. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter for all the latest updates to know when uh, the new videos have been posted to one stop. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, and we'll take care of some more Drupal Commerce items. See you guys.